Well, in short, investigators believe that a well-known escrow company in southeast New Mexico robbed a trust account used to pay for their clients' home-related costs. Documents filed in court suggest that the owner of Roswell Escrow Services lived a good life for a while on other people's money. Meantime, as we approach the holidays, hundreds of New Mexico families are worried sick. So it was a huge onset of panic. Leah Hardwick is one of hundreds of customers that did business with Roswell Escrow Services. But since November, Leah hasn't been able to make payments toward the real estate contract she has with the owner of her home. And Leah also doesn't know if the money that she's paid into her escrow was ever distributed to the right places. Oh my gosh, it's been, we're trying not to stress because we just don't know the details on our account yet and we haven't gotten any. Here's how an escrow service works with real estate contracts. Home buyers send money each month to an escrow company. That money goes into a trust and the trust distributes the money to pay the home seller to pay for property taxes and to pay monthly home insurance costs. But according to a search warrant filed by the Securities Division of the New Mexico Regulations and Licensing Department, investigators believe the owner of Roswell Escrow Services used the trust as his personal slush fund. And my stomach drops. I, it makes me sick to my stomach and it makes me mad. And According to the search warrant, the owner, Christopher Jensen Tanner, used the trust account to pay off his own home. This home in West Roswell comes complete with acres of farmland, farm animals, and two new vehicles in the driveway. Investigators believe Jensen Tanner spent $65,000 of the trust fund to pay for an exclusive drug and alcohol addiction treatment in San Francisco and for first class flights to get there. Wire transfers discovered by investigators reveal Jensen Tanner spent $5,800 on a Cartier watch, another $2,400 on a watch from Crowny Caliber, and another $3,400 on a watch from Breitling Montbrier. Additionally, invoices show he spent $145,000 on an American Express credit card bill and hundreds of thousands of dollars at Amazon, Buffalo Thunder Casino, sushi restaurants, Macy's, a limousine service, art galleries, high-end whiskey, and firearms, just to name a few. In all, investigators discovered more than a million dollars missing from the escrow trust. So this is the hotline that they're asking customers to call. Trying to figure out what's going on, customers routinely go to the front doors of Roswell Escrow Services. Are you worried at all? Yes, I do, because there are three houses. And they discover these notes from the state regulations and licensing department warning to not leave any money or make any payments to Roswell Escrow Services. I don't have an idea. I don't know what to think. We did attempt to make contact with Jensen Tanner, despite two vehicles in the driveway and the fact that he could probably see us in the video from his ring.com doorbell. Nobody ever answered the front door. For customers like Leah, answers need to come soon. We had a, an agreement. They were that middleman. We, we trusted them with that payment and that it was gonna go where we needed it to go. And knowing that they didn't hold up their end of the bargain, not only with us, but everyone else, like you said, we, we planned, We've, we work hard and we provide what we can for our family. And so when we know that that hard earned money is just going to, so that they can go to the casino or purchase nice watches, you're welcome, <laughs> you know, but that now we're stuck in a rut. According to the search warrant, when RLD investigators asked Christopher Jensen Tanner about all that missing money, he told them that it was somebody else who robbed the account, but he never made a police report or even contacted local law enforcement. Investigators are not buying that story, but at this point, we have to tell you, nobody at Roswell Escrow Services are facing criminal charges. Chris Ramirez, 4 Investigates.